guys, welcome back to an all new exciting episode of Conflicts. In this episode of Tech News, we'll be talking about the Roboters International Festival, as well as the new updates with Cosmo and Vector, and lastly, some new scientific robotics research that I stumbled upon. So let's go ahead and kind of dive right into it. So if you haven't seen the video already, I just announced that I'll be hosting the very first Robo Showcase at the Roboters International Festival next month in Austin, Texas. So if I have any fans in Texas, I hope to see you there. It'll actually be a lot of fun. We'll be going ahead and having a robot paddle, as well as being able to go ahead and try out a variety of robots from Ginkor Rex, Super Anthony, Zeus, Cosmo, and many more. In addition, I also announced that we'll be giving away two free vectors. So if you guys want to learn more about how to go ahead and win a vector, check out that link down below in the description. Anyways, back to Cosmo and Vector. So there's a new update about Cosmo and Vector that I saw that popped up online. So it says that Digital Dream Labs has partnered with Savage Ratch as well as Spaced Out Studio. These here are a production and engineering group that works with a variety of different companies such as Trey Songs, Jamie Foxx, Bruno Mars, and many other artists. So what they're trying to do is incorporate music with these robots. It's quite interesting. So you just kind of go ahead and scroll down here. It shows you like their mission dreams, shows you some songs that they worked on, uh, what they're trying to focus on. So with Cosmo, it says that Cosmo will teach you about music. So it'll incorporate the app and you'll be able to learn about music with the robot. Verse Vector is supposed to be essentially to get you in the studio and help you make music. So kind of more mature. And then lastly, the overdrive, which I thought was quite interesting, is that you can go ahead and play the songs that you create and drive to the speed and melody of the song. So the Bluetooth speaker will be a stereo in the car. Pretty crazy stuff. So you can see that they're trying to reach out a lot about that. But one thing that I found quite interesting is that you can go ahead and pre-order for it. So they're going to be charging for this. So Cosmo is more towards kids, educational, interactive, and has a big personality. Vector in the studio has Alexa integration, home assistant, home navigation, USDK, and then the overdrive to music has build, battle, mobile device compatible, endless expansion, and then... Yeah, it makes you kind of wonder exactly where they're going with this. I mean, Cosmo is called the master of songs with Cosmo, Vector is Vector in the studio, and Overdrive is Overdrive to the music. So they really thought hard and long about it. So not sure exactly what approach they'll take, but it sounds like they'll be charging for these features. Anyways, so on to the next topic. Uh, so I came that on Science News that there will be these living organism robots. So essentially, they're able to manipulate frog cells and control them, almost like robots, but they're not robots, but they're allowed to go ahead and do a variety of different tasks. So this here is essentially the future, so you can go ahead and program a living organism that they made. That is crazy! So essentially this could make a breakthrough in the future in terms of curing, uh, health fields, stuff of that nature. So I'm quite excited to see exactly what they plan with this. I mean this here is just like a stepping stone towards the future, allowing the robots to move on their own and doing a variety of different tasks. So it is kind of crazy exactly what they're doing and how they're doing it. So yeah, there you guys have it. This here is tech news for you. If you guys had any questions, comment down below. And if you guys want to see something else for tech news next week, feel free to comment as well. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.